Well, good morning. You're actually getting me on my way home from boot camp, not my way to boot camp. That's why I'm looking this way. I was so sweaty. I cannot wait to go home and take a shower. I'm going to wash my hair. I feel it's so humid here. It rained quite a bit yesterday, so it's super, super humid. It's warm, it's 75 degrees, so yeah, I'm sweaty, but my workout is done. It was an amazing, amazing workout. I drank about half of my protein coffee before my workout, which was really helpful to make it through. I'll finish up my protein coffee while I get ready this morning. I have another really busy day today. I have quite a few calls. I have quite a few things going on in general. We actually have some pretty big things happening in our life. I'll, I'll share it with you guys in a future video. We're just putting together some of the final pieces before I want to share anything publicly about it, but we do have some pretty big exciting changes going on in our life. I'm already pretty hungry. So I think I'm going to, so I'm going to finish up my protein coffee. As soon as I shower and get ready for the day, we will have some breakfast. So change of plans. I just got out of the shower. As you can see, I feel so much better, but I'm hungry and I do want to let my hair air dry a little bit. I like it to be at least 50 to 60% dry before I go in with my Dyson and finish drying it and straightening it. So we're going to eat some breakfast. So let me show you what we're having. So this is what I meal prep for the week. This is my hash brown crusted bacon, egg and cheese quiche. So I'm going to have a piece of that. And then I'm going to have my Knutson raspberry cottage cheese cup. I really like these. I like these just as much as Daisy and these are less expensive less calories, same amount of protein. So these are really good if you want a little bit more affordable option. I mean, Daisy's really good too, but I'm going to have that and a piece of quiche. So let me put it together and I'll show you my breakfast. So here's my quiche. This smells so good. It has a hash brown crust. This recipe was in Monday's meal prep. So if you haven't seen that video, that's where you'll find this. And the recipe is on my website. And then there is my cottage cheese cup. So this is going to be the perfect protein packed breakfast. Excuse me, Miss Clayton. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Lola? Yeah, you're crazy. <laughs> Lola is living her best life. Are you living your best life? <gasps> yes, you are. So I'm just about ready to hop on a call and I wanted to quickly share with you my new favorite pre-workout. I was so excited when this was released for Motivate. This is the new Motivate Blaze. So this is a pre-workout. I did take this this morning before I went to boot camp and it is absolutely incredible. Not only does it taste really good, but the benefits of this are immediate. When you're working out, it definitely helps motivate you through your workout. So the flavor is fruit punch. It tastes really similar to the fruit punch recovery, which is actually really, really good. But what is great about this is it is a specific pre-workout. So it's for pump, energy, and strength. It contains diacreatine malate, which combines creatine and malic acid to enhance stability and solubility. It supports muscle strength and power by aiding in ATP production and helps in reducing fatigue and increasing endurance during your workout. I definitely noticed that with the Blaze. It really helped propel me through my boot camp workout. And like I mentioned, it was a hard workout today. It was a hot, sweaty workout today. And I love that it contains creatine. I talk about creatine a lot here on my channel. It's something I personally take every single day and I appreciate that it has that built into blaze L arginine alpha ketoglutrate or AAKG. This is a compound combining the amino acid L arginine with alpha keto glucurate. It enhances nitric oxide protection, leading to better blood circulation and muscle pumps, improves the delivery of oxygen and nutrients to the muscles during exercise, again, aiding in performance and recovery. And that's what's going to give you that pump when you're working out, that, you know, big muscle pump after your workout, and also appreciate that it helps, again, propel you through your workout. It also contains beta alanine, which is an amino acid that increases kerosene levels in muscles, buffering acid buildup and reducing fatigue. My boot camp workout is a HIIT workout, so high intensity interval training. I definitely had more energy at 5 a.m. and really it really did help propel me through that really tough, sweaty workout. And then L-taurine, which is an essential amino acid that helps maintain electrolyte balance and proper hydration in muscle cells. It also has betaine androhydrous, which is another amino acid for muscle power and strength, as well as cellular hydration. And L-citrulline malate, which is an, an additional amino acid that enhances nitric 
oxide levels, improving blood flow and muscle pumps. Also helps with muscle fatigue and soreness, promoting better workout recovery. Detoxification properties in here and a precursor to creatine, which actually helps with the natural production of creatine in addition to supplementing creatine. So it is just such a fantastic product. I, like I said, was so excited when Motivate released this. I knew that I had to have it and it is incredible. I highly recommend it whether you do low intensity, high intensity exercise, especially if you're doing strength training and lifting weights, really helping with muscle recovery and soreness and muscle growth. It's all encompassing of everything that you would ever need in a pre-workout. And this pairs absolutely perfect with Motivate Burn. They have two very different functions. Blaze is for nitric oxide support. It promotes strength and helps endurance. And Burn is a had, contains fat burning properties, all day energy, and helps reduce your appetite. So you take your Blaze before your workout and you supplement with Burn during the day. It's just such an amazing combination. So I do have a 20% off discount for Motivate. It is good on the Blaze, it's good on the Burn. Anything on the Motivate website, I will link it down below for you, but definitely get this, you will not be disappointed. I'm going to hop on a call and I'm going to make a coffee before I do. I'm really feeling a blended coffee today because it's pretty warm here. So I'm going to, going to do my traditional blended protein pack Starbucks Frappuccino dupe. So I'm starting with cold brew. This is the Drake up cold brew. I just placed my order because that's all that I have left. This is the bananas foster. I just make it in my cold brew pitcher, which I buy off of Amazon. And then I think I'm going to use Clean Simple Eats vanilla protein powder because I'm going to do the caramel macchiato high protein iced coffee mix from Herbalife. And I think that's going to give me that whole caramel macchiato vibe. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I put together my blended coffee. Give me all your reasons to why I should take my time. Used to have forever, but you never kept that much. running a couple of errands. So we stopped and got pizza. The gas station by our house has slices of pizza. Ooh. He got a piece too and a pop and it was $5. And the pizza is actually really good. You can get a whole pizza for six bucks on the weekend. So that's <laughs> gonna be my lunch. We just got home and I'm going to have a quick afternoon snack. I have a call here in about 15 minutes. So I'm going to make a super fast yogurt bowl using the light and fit Greek yogurt in the toasted marshmallow. I really like this yogurt with banana and I have a really ripe banana so I like to kind of squish my banana up and mix it in the yogurt. And then I'm going to do a quarter of a cup of the maple waffle Catalina Crunch. I love all the Catalina Crunch. So I do have a discount for them. I'll link it down below. So I'm gonna make just a super fast yogurt bowl. So here is my yogurt bowl, Catalina Crunch, banana and the yogurt. I really like this combination a lot. One hour later. I'm going to have another quick snack since I only had that pizza for dinner. I'm a bit hungry, or for lunch I should say. I'm a bit hungry, so I'm gonna have something just to sustain me until dinner here in about an hour and a half or so. So I'm going to have a couple of the Alyssa's Healthy Oatmeal Bites. You guys know I love these. They're a nice fiber filled, basically like an oatmeal cookie, but a healthy version of them. And you get two of them for 90 calories. They have protein, they have fiber. They're really, really good. I just buy these off of the website. I'll link the website for you. And that should tide me over until dinner. For dinner tonight, I'm making easy, cheesy taco meatloaf. I'm really excited for this. I don't know what I'll pair with this. We'll see what we'll see what I end up with, maybe salad or something. But for the meatloaf, let me show you what you'll need. So first you're going to need two pounds of ground beef. I have 96% ground beef. You'll need salsa, taco sauce, taco seasoning, garlic powder, salt and pepper, a couple of eggs and some light shredded cheese. The recipe also calls for breadcrumbs, but I'm going to omit those. I don't really like breadcrumbs in meatloaf a lot because it makes it really dense. So I'm going to skip them, save the calories, save the points, save the carbs. So let's make some meatloaf. So for the meatloaf, I added my two pounds of ground beef. We want one and a half cups of salsa, so I'm just going to add this jar. There's a tiny bit missing out of it, so it'll be really close to the one and a half cups one packet of taco seasoning, garlic powder, salt and pepper, and then two eggs. Okay, 
And if you're using breadcrumbs, you'll add one cup of breadcrumbs. So I'm going to go in with my hands because that's the easiest way to mix it all together. Mix all the meat and all the good stuff. And then I like to form my meatloaf on a baking sheet because it keeps all the grease out of the bottom of a bread pan. So I'm going to mix everything together for my meatloaf and then we'll get it into the oven. I will do that again. Meatloaf is going in to a 350 degree oven for about an hour and while it's in the oven we'll mix up the topping. And then for the topping for our meatloaf it's pretty interesting we're going to do a cup of shredded light cheese and then we're using taco sauce. I got the mild Taco Bell sauce and you want about a three quarter you want about three quarters of a cup. So we're going to add that and then mix everything together. And then I'm just going to throw this into the fridge while the meatloaf is cooking. About 10 to 15 minutes before it's done, we're gonna pull it out, add our topping, and throw it back into the oven. So I just pulled the meatloaf out of the oven. This looks so good. It smells like a taco bar in here. So excited you could put sour cream on this. I think I'm going to eat it as is because it has that taco sauce and cheese topping. And I'm going to pair this with some of my Mexican street corn pasta salad that I made in meal prep. So let me plate it up and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here is dinner. So the meatloaf makes six servings. I put it into eight because those would be huge slices of meatloaf since it was two pounds of meat. So I did it as eight servings. You can do it as six if you would like because I'm also having a serving, serving of my Mexican street corn pasta salad. That is also in Monday's meal prep. It is so good and it's the perfect side for the meatloaf, so that's going to be dinner. So for dessert tonight, I'm going to have, again, my meal prep. This is in Monday's meal prep video. If you missed it, this is strawberry air crisp cobbler. It is so good. The strawberries got really syrupy and sweet, and then the air fryer made the topping all crispy. It's one serving for the little ramekin. Absolutely delicious. Again, was in Monday's meal prep. I might top it with a little bit of whipped cream, but this is going to be dessert. today's what I eat in a day. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me, seeing everything that I ate. Don't forget tonight's dinner recipe is on my website. I'll have it at the top of the description box. Along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Wednesday. See you in the next one. Bye.